All right, well, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Brown with Elite Chiropractic and Rehab in Bloomington, Illinois. And tonight, I'm honored to share with you some information about immunity and how to supercharge your immune system. So give me one moment. I'm going to get my screen ready for you. And I've got a PowerPoint. And let's share the screen. Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about immunity and supercharging your immune system. And um, we're going to, I'm going to start off with a series of questions here, and they're on the screen. And um, do you feel that getting sick is inevitable? You know, do uh, changes in the season lead to discomfort? Do you have seasonal allergies or frequent cold and flu symptoms? you suffer from seasonal affective disorder where you're depressed during the winter months and you feel your immune system struggling. Now I'm not talking about someone that once in a while gets a cold or gets ill. I'm talking about do you really feel like your immune system is compromised? Do you get, are you sick all the time? You know, um, I can tell you maybe once or twice a year I'll get a sinus infection and, um, I'll go to prompt care, and every time I go to prompt care, the waiting room is just full, full of really sick people, you know, coughing and hacking and, you know, just seeking relief. And it just seems to me that our society overall is not very healthy, and there's a, there's a lot of illness there. And tonight, you know, we're, gonna, we're going to address that. But when we talk about, you know, being in the, the waiting room and you have people you know, coughing and hacking and, you know, sneezing and blowing their nose, you know, are these symptoms good or bad? You know, when you have a fever of 102 degrees, is that a good or a bad thing? And the truth is these symptoms are good because it helps your body start to heal and rid it of the unwanted toxins and the contamination and the free radicals from your symptoms system. So, you know, when you have a fever of 101 degrees, your body is fighting off that infection. So that's good. You know, these symptoms are good within reason. Now, if you've got a 110 degree fever, I'm going to tell you that's probably not a good thing and you need to you know, go somewhere else and get that looked at. But, you know, um, in general, you know, when you're sneezing, coughing, those are good because your body is healing and recovering. The reason that we are here tonight is that there are a lot of people that have a limited belief that getting sick is inevitable. There are a lot of people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Tonight, my goal is to change that belief. I hope you stay with me till the end tonight. Tonight, we are going to try to wrap this up in under 15 minutes. You know, we're usually in the 25 to 30 minute range on these webinars. We're going to try to wrap this up within 15 minutes. And my hope is that you stick with me through this entire thing to see, you know, what we can do to help possibly change your life and make you healthier. And let's start with um, one of the big issues with these symptoms are medications. How many of you out there, when you feel a cold or a flu coming on, you run out to the drugstore and you buy a whole bunch of stuff, right? Guilt, guilty as charged. I remember the last time. It was pretty sad. I mean, I was, I was just dying. I thought I was dying. It sure felt like it. But um, people go and they'll just buy all these drugs to try to help them. And the problem with the drugs is that they mask the symptoms and they interfere with the body's ability to heal themselves. So while you might feel some temporary relief in the symptoms, it's generally going to take longer to recover when you're suppressing those symptoms. But don't get me wrong, I understand why people take them. It's miserable having a cold. And if you're anything like me, you know, you don't want to be down for very long. You want to get back on track. You know, I have to be in the office every day. So I don't want to miss a day of helping others. You know, like we are called to duty and we have busy lives and we have things to do. And, you know, so it makes perfect sense that when you're down, you're going to do whatever you can to bounce back up very quickly. And speaking of healing naturally, 
You know, your body is designed to heal naturally. And so when your immune system is weakened, it obviously makes you more ill and creates greater health challenges for you in the long term. But now for the good news, there are many ways to get rid of unwanted colds, flu, seasonal allergies, and depressing while supercharging your immune system. So it's going to respond quicker next time it's under attack. And we're gonna start off with some basic strategies. These are from Harvard Health Publications. Can't be all bad, because you know this is published from Harvard Medical School. So some of these, these are very obvious, but we're gonna mention them anyway. So if you wanna improve your immune system, don't smoke. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, whole, whole grains, uh, minimal saturated fat, a big one here that I totally agree with is exercise regularly. When you exercise regularly, it helps reduce your stress to your nervous system. It helps regulate your moods and also helps boost your immune system. Also maintaining a healthy weight, that's huge, uh, pun intended. Uh, you know, you gotta watch your blood pressure. Something that you may not have thought of is if you drink alcohol, only do so in moderation. Also getting adequate rest, that, that's a, I cannot underestimate, underemphasize uh, the importance of getting quality sleep, a full night of quality sleep. That is so helpful for your overall health. And then also obvious things like taking steps to prevent infection, such as washing your hands frequently and cooking meats thoroughly. Also, according to WebMD, there are three vitamins that are good for your immune system. Carotene, vitamin C, vitamin E. They also recommend prunes and apples for antioxidants. You know, um, getting into a nutritional discussion is beyond the scope of tonight's webinar. However, I can tell you, you know, I prefer liquid zinc. I prefer vitamin C. And I know with those two, you do not take them simultaneously. You alternate them because they inhibit with the absorption of one another. And that's really all I have to say about vitamins for tonight, because now we're gonna to get to the area that I can help you with. We're gonna talk about the master controller, uh, the central nervous system. And what does it do? Well, it only controls every single function in your body. And when your nervous system is working properly, your immune system is better. And also, you feel amazing. You have higher levels of energy. You're not sick as often, and you age gracefully. So I think I need to tell you more about this. So uh, on the screen here is uh, a very low-tech brain-body diagram. So if you look here, here is the brain. <laughs> Looks just like it. It's a big oval. And here is the body. Now, your brain controls every single function in your body through what's known as the nervous system. The nervous system, it's a collection of nerves that basically controls every single thing you do. An extreme example to illustrate this is if someone has had a spinal cord injury to the neck and they're paralyzed from the neck down. Now, obviously, um, that's not a very common thing and it's a very extreme illustration, but what happens when you have interference to this nervous system? We're not talking about like a spinal cord injury. We're talking about when you have things that irritate this or cause nerve disturbance to this nervous system. Well, when you have disturbance to this nervous system, it's in the form of a vertebral subluxation or subluxation for short. And I'm sure you've probably heard of this before if you've ever you know, seen me. But a subluxation is where one of the bones in your spine is out of place. The problem with bones being out of place is that it creates nerve disturbance to your nervous system. And as we said, subluxations create interference in your nervous system. And fortunately, chiropractors are the only skilled professionals in the world that detect and correct subluxations. And it goes without saying that chiropractic adjustments remove interference to your nervous system. And it's my opinion as a chiropractor that you should never leave a subluxation. You want your nervous system as free of subluxation 
as, as possible. And uh, here's another brain body diagram that gives a little bit more information. This is your brain, this is your body. Your nervous system is disturbed or affected by subluxations here. The problem with subluxations is when you have a nerve disturbance to your nervous system, the body does not function the way it's supposed to. Your body promotes disease versus being in a state of ease and your health worsens and it causes your symptoms to worsen. And so it makes sense that if you're, you know, most patients come into our office, you know, they have neck pain or back pain or headaches. They have symptoms here at the bottom of the screen. And so we want to remove the cause of that problem up here, the subluxation. So not only does it make your symptoms feel better, but we don't stop there. We want your health to improve. We want your body to be in a state of ease. In fact, when you get adjusted properly, it should feel like someone took a light switch and turned your power on. You feel more energetic. You just feel good. Your body's relaxed. Being adjusted properly, just it's a great feeling. And then also it causes your body to function properly. So now when your body is stressed out, when you have stress to your nervous system, it occurs in the form of a stress response. So uh, I'm going to break it down into, there are two main, in your autonomic nervous system, you have two main branches. You have your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system. Parasympathetic uh, just basically imagine this. Imagine you're on a beach. It's 85 degrees. You've got some shade. You've got an ice cold beverage in your hand, maybe uh, lemonade. Life is good. You know, palm trees in the background, some low key music. Sympathetic is when some gigantic alligator comes from behind the bush and tries to eat you. It creates a stress response or, you know, a sympathetic response or a fight or flight syndrome. Perhaps you've heard of that. But it creates a number of physiological responses, all of which are mentioned on this slide. You know, increases your heart rate, your blood pressure, um, triggers anxiety. Um, but, you know, and it's good for the short term so you can get up and run away from that alligator. Um, but the problem is people live stressed out like this for years and years. And when your body is stressed out or taxed like that, it decreases your immunity. It causes your immune system to not work properly. And that's one of the big things. That's the main focus of tonight is you know, your immune system. And so my question to you is which came first, the stress to your nervous system or the cold and flu symptoms? And I'm gonna tell you the stress to your nervous system comes first before your nervous system starts to not function the way it's supposed to. In fact, I can tell you, Probably um, any time I've ever been ill, I think there was a tremendous amount of stress that preceded the illness. Uh, every time without question. Comes during a time where I'm super busy, slammed, you know, and I'm out of balance between work, life, and everything else, traveling, just being super busy, and not exercising, not taking care of myself, not eating right. It seems like that's the point at which I typically will become ill if I'm ever going to you know, become ill. And it just makes sense that you have to keep your nervous system working right. And the way to do that, obviously, is with the chiropractic adjustments. Now, the chiropractic adjustments, people think, oh, well, you know, I get that. It makes me feel better. It helps my neck pain. It helps my back pain. It helps my headaches. But you know, in our office, we're able to measure objectively how well your, your, I'm sorry, how well your nervous system is doing. And one of the big tests that we use in our office is called the heart rate variability, and it's abbreviated HRV, and it shows how stressed out your nervous system is. So if you look at this picture right here, this black line down the middle separates the left side, which is sympathetic. Imagine an alligator chasing you. And the right side, which is parasympathetic, which, you know, imagine palm trees. Okay, so an ideally adjusted patient whose nervous system is functioning optimally is going to be in this green oval. The yellow layer is the first layer of severity in terms of stress to your nervous system. The orange layer is the next layer of severity. And red is danger zone. 
I could tell you in our office, we've seen patients go from this danger zone down in here into this green oval within 60 to 90 days. So it, it's just amazing. Like this scan never lies. You know, we had a patient the other day that came in. Her previous re-exam, she was in this green oval. She was doing great. Life was good. And when we did her most recent progress exam, she was in the yellow area, close to orange. And I asked her, you know, are you stressed out? Because this heart rate variability test is indicating that you are very stressed out. And she replied, yes, this is one of the worst weeks I've had in a very, very long time. So this scan does not lie. It's phenomenal. Along with the heart rate variability, we also look at the autonomic nerves uh, right here. They go to the blood vessels, organs, and glands, and they deal with things such as sinuses and allergies, energy, digestive, and breathing issues. We also look at the activity of the motor nerves, which control the muscles. So that deals with areas of weakness, spasms, fatigue, and tightness. And then we put all of those together into something known as a core score. And this core score uh, basically is a synopsis of how well your nervous system is doing overall. And we look at it in detail on uh, every one of your progress exams. And, you know, it's just very, very informative. And I want to reiterate that chiropractic adjustments remove interference to the nervous system and they promote health. And the last slide here I want to mention to you, you know, maybe you're sick and ill. Maybe you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Maybe you desire better health. I mean, we're not just talking about, oh, my neck hurts or, oh, my back hurts. Maybe you truly feel that you want to improve your health. Maybe you want to get off the five or six medications that you're on. Maybe some of you senior citizens are on 12 or 14 medications. That's the average per year. You know, well, in our office, we have a new patient offer. If you mention this webinar, we will offer this to you. But this offer includes a consultation history where I will sit down with you and we'll go over, you know, your history, ask you, you know, how are your symptoms doing? How's your overall health? We'll sit down and go into some detail on that. Also, we will do a complete nervous system scan like we just talked about on the previous slides. We will also do a complete neuro, ortho, and chiropractic evaluation. And we will do a full set of digital x-rays. And that'll be on day one. And then you'll come back on day two. Uh, it'll be at least a day later so that we'll have time to put together all our information and make our recommendations. But uh, on day two, we will do a report of findings consultation where we go over our findings and our recommendations. And we will do all of that for only 125. That's just the cost of the digital x-rays. So if that's something you might be interested in doing, please give our office a call. The office number is 309-663-9900. So on that note, um, I hope you guys all have a great evening, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next webinar. God bless, and have a great evening. Good night.